And hello to you from the West Riding of Yorkshire. Always a delight to be here at Elland Road. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Leeds United up against Arsenal. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. Line up as follows. Number one, Ilian Melier. Number five, Robin Cook. Number six, Liam Cooper. Thank you, Alan Road. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Alexander Zinchenko. Not high quality defending. Tyler Adams. And Christensen has it. Sinistera. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. <laughs> but he's gone short with it. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. A good and fair challenge. Granit Xhaka. Now with Jesus. Xhaka with it. Slipping it through. Partey. And he didn't hesitate. Good thing too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. Mark Rocca, perfect challenge. And showing fine vision. Saka, Xhaka, Xhaka's lost the ball. Oh, he's really up on the map here. And it looks as though they might be in just for a second or two. Granit Xhaka and here's Saliba this is a message for all away supporters Harrison can you please remain seated after the game Brendan Aronson will meet you at the terms now what can they do from here and he read it well defensively Martinelli. Jacker with it. Sinistera. Good looking sequence.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Granit Xhaka. Gabriel. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. So almost at half-time and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Really important. Gabriel Jesus. Marcinelli. Oh, maybe the equaliser. They had to react and did. Well, wasted opportunity here. Would have been a decent chance, but offside the verdict. Well, Leeds aren't controlling the possession here, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. And having to soak up a bit of pressure again here. Sinistera. Another perfect position to read it. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Beautifully disguised ball. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. And there it is, the half-time whistle, thus bringing to an end the first half here at Elland Road. And for Gabriel Jesus, a performance that he'll quickly want to forget. Well, Derek, he's usually so clever around the edge of the box. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And a tidy tackle. Using his physical strength to shield it. Martinelli. It needs an accurate cross. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. And short it is. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Real chance. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. <laughs> Keen to take it short here. Decent position. Superbly read and executed. Well, strong play here. Oh, great defending. Harrison. Brendan Aronson. He made it look simple, really. Saka. White. 
And here's Saliba. Gabriel Martinelli. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Harrison. Now can they create something? Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And they're making a change. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a struggle to get it away properly. Rodrigo. Still trying to make something happen. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Running with the ball confidently. Well, strong play to hold the ball up. And the referee has given them a corner. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Over it comes. Struggling to get it away. The ball back with Arsenal now. Gabriel Martinelli. Jacka with it. Martinelli. Gabriel Martinelli. They have to show a commitment to attack Arsenal in these trying circumstances. This could level it, but denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. And a short corner, let's see. Partey. Can he make it count? Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Goal for so underway again here on the back of that leveller. On the attack, as there to be late excitement. Rodrigo. He's protecting it effectively. It has to be. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Martinelli. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in.
Partey. And here's Saliba. And there goes the final whistle. Job done by Leeds United today. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It's so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.